Hi, in this video we're going to use the app called Woobox and we're going to add it to our page. Now when you type in the search bar Woobox you can see there's quite a few different ones. It doesn't matter which one you use. We might go for this little arrow here. It's just going to give me a little different um, icon. So the next thing you need to do is come down here and go install page tab. It will then ask you which page that you want to add it to and we click on the drop down. Now this is just the same as the uh, static HTML one. It's just different the little results. So I'll just use fan page competitions and add static iframe tab. Okay so over here on the page that one there is Woobox, that one there is Woobox, this one here is Woobox, Woobox and that is the static HTML. So there's not much difference except that the static HTML is purely HTML code whereas these guys give you some options. So we're going to click on test and then it will pop up and say settings and stats. So what we want to do is have a look at settings. Now here's where the magic starts. You can have a URL, a redirect, an image or an HTML. So if we were to go to image, if you purely just want to add up an image, now often I just add an image on there from my landing page, I get it made up. This is the stats that you need, no more than 520 wide and 1200 long and 400 kilobytes and you simply browse and we'll come down here to this little guy here and open and all you need to do is save settings. Now they actually host that on a secure server for you so it meets the secure server settings which is great and then you come back up here and go view page and you can see there it's got the little image that I just clicked on. If I want to go back over and I actually want to do some coding on my page it's as simple as clicking on HTML and you don't have to panic, you don't need to know any of this, you just come on to editor and it brings up this little window here now, complete little editor and you can say hello this is Donna, thanks so much for dropping me by. And then if you want to bold it, you can select it and bold and you can center it and you can add images and do all sorts of things. The downside in here is that you will now have to go and add your image or host your image somewhere else because it doesn't actually allow you to host it with this option, you can only host it with that image one up there. But once you're finished, you just scroll down the bottom, click on save settings, refresh the page, and view tab. And you can see there, there is my typing. Just back to settings for a second. Down here, you can have your fan gating on if you like. You can also change the name of that. Test. And you can also install completely different tabs and simply go save setting. Now once you change the name in here it will ask you to grant permission to this application. However if you go into edit page and apps you don't have to grant permission to this application. So I'll just show you this free ebook here. So you get to know the difference with these things. This is the static HTML by Thunderpenny. That's the one that Mari recommended as well. And you can put your code in there. Look, it's awesome. I really use that one. You can go to preview. That's where I've got an image. And below that image, I've got in here an Aweber form. Whereas if you have a look at this one here, this is Woobox. And that's actually a page on my website that I have then set up with Woobox so that it displays in here. And you can see it's got my access form. Or this guy over here, this promotions link. This is another Woobox one, but this one's set up so that if people want to find quickly to get to the promotions guideline, that's how easy I've gone through. So if you need help with installing Woobox, just give me a shout out. It's super, super easy to use. Play with it and I think you'll enjoy it as much as I have.